Espresso is the life blood of work day, but many struggle to learn it and indeed master it. Bootcamp is based on building a student app. It's not very interesting and doesn't really push you from a modeling or programming point of view. What would be a better training app for Espresso? The answer is chess. It's a great project to work on from a teamwork point of view. It uses a nice mix of class types. It definitely pushes your modeling skills and the Espresso methods you're going to build are really going to stretch you. In addition, it could easily leverage the other Workday technologies such as the Business Process Framework and Compute Grid. How awesome it would be to have our AI work on multiple nodes. We built a working AI capable chess program in Espresso in under 22 hours with this team of five. We think that building chess is a fun way to learn Espresso. The chess app will form it excellent reference model when we zork it in for developers who want to see what we can really do with Espresso when we put our minds to it. Take a look at what we've built. Here's the starting chessboard. We have two players. The first one is David. He's human. Um, Black is going to be playing, a, is going to be the computer and it's going to use a Minimax AI strategy. Let's start off by moving a piece on the board. We're going to move the king's pawn by one position forward. Look at the UI that we've had to use here. We were, did not on purpose extend Espresso in any way to give us additional UI features, so we are constrained to using the dialog, although we were very, very careful to make sure that the prompts are constrained to legal chess moves. That alone is quite a tricky piece of Espresso to pull off. We've moved our pawn one position forward, and now it's the turn of the computer to make its move. We added this button here to slow down the game so that you can actually see that the computer is now taking its turn. So the computer will apply its Minimax strategy to define what is the next move. Here we've seen that the computer has decided to move its black knight over to this position here. David will now make another move, a counter move. Let's see what he does. What we're going to do here is be a little bit aggressive just to try and demonstrate a capture. Of course, this wouldn't be Grandmaster Chess on any level. <clears throat> we're going to take our queen and move it over here to this position so that it threatens uh, a pawn over here and it threatens, well actually it just threatens that pawn here. Let's see uh, what the computer does in response. The computer moved its pawn over here um, and now it's re we're ready to take. We want to demonstrate a capture from our uh, queen from this position here to move over and capture this pawn here. Now this would be a suicidal move, but we're going to do it anyway just to demonstrate that capture is also implemented. <clears throat> and here the queen has taken the pawn and the pieces off the board. We could actually extend this to show all our captured pieces here. We could add on additional uh, features to this thing, like for example, <coughs> extra depth in our min-max, in our minimax AI, and uh, we could do additional features as well. We have lots of things we can do here and extend it. For example, en passant and pawn promotion to queen. What we have here is a bare bones chess engine, and really that was all that we've accomplished now without, and this is an important point, no extensions whatsoever to Espresso and the UI. We used prompts, we're using standard layouts, and we're using BEMS and method bindings. That's it.